Hello America, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. I'm Dave, I am the real music observer, meaning I observe real music and I think I'm real. So it is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2016. Getting a little bit of blowback on, again, my whole premise about Jeff Coffey. By the way, I apologize for calling him Jason Coffey. I did that in a couple of the videos, so Jeff, sorry. Um, you know, you get used to calling out the name Jason Chef, and then uh, all of a sudden you're faced with a new name. And I posted, I believe, on Jeff's own page, um, basically saying, wow, Jeff sounds better than Peter Cetera doing If You Leave Me Now. And oh my, I had a troll post a Peter Cetera video. Well, because I said that Peter Cetera might be shaking in his uh, Bruno Mali shoes, which, by the way, OJ wore <laughs> Bruno Mali. I don't know if Peter, uh, I, but I could see Peter owning and wearing a pair of Bruno Mali's. I really don't care, but it's his style. It's the David Foster cocktail party, you know, point my nose up while I sing. I mean, look, Peter Cetera was a rocker back in the day. Check out Peter's debut album in 1981 and a tune called Living in the Limelight. You want to hear Peter Cetera as a rock star, as a rocker. Uh, that's probably when I had the most respect for Peter Cetera. Um, and of course, I'm still really ticked off at what he did to Chicago uh, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. And don't give me this crap about, oh, he only wanted to sing it a step down, and uh, he wanted to bring in Chris Pinnock and, and Donnie Dacus and all the old Chicago people. Um, the problem is he really wanted to bring members of the Big Daddies, his own band, with him, which, okay. You know, it just it's just silly. Just sing. You know what, then? If you can't sing 25 or 6 to 4, sing something else. Find a song that you don't have to drop at nine steps or whatever they wanted to drop it. Robert Lamb said it was really low, and the horn players were saying, uh-uh, we're not doing that. That's crazy. So I post this video and basically makes the assertion that, you know, I think today's Jeff Coffey, is a better singer than today's Peter Cetera. You know, I've kind of jumped over the whole Jason Chef controversy. I think I'm getting validated about the whole Jason Chef situation as I look at the comments that are coming out and people are posting videos and I'm watching those videos of Jason and then I compare them to Jeff and I go, okay, I think I'm right there. You can, you can agree, you can, you can say, oh, how can you do this to Jason? I'm just using my ears. So I heard Peter Cetera singing If If You Leave Me Now because this this dude posted and I don't think he's shaking in his Bruno Molly shoes. I may have been shaking the camera, L O L. Um <laughs> it's like okay. I listened to it and I heard I heard Peter hitting the notes, but I heard when he went up, I heard some straining. I heard his voice do a little um just very kind of a raspy, nasally sound, not a smooth Peter Cetera. He's 70, folks, okay, or 71. He's, I mean, I get it. I get it. I'm just saying in today's world, today, 2016, Jeff Coffey is the best that Chicago has, and they ought to keep him. And I think he is as good. See, here's the thing. I think he's better than Jason. He's probably not as good as Peter in his prime, okay? But he's got a different sounding voice than Peter. Peter, again, had this very unique sounding and still does, has this very unique sounding tenor. And if you know the story of Chicago, Peter was in a fight, had his jaw broken, and had to learn to sing like this, you know? If you leave me now, take away the biggest part of me. Um, had the jaw wired shut. And air coming out in that fashion creates completely different sound that is really hard to duplicate. So you got to give Jason Chef kudos over the many years trying to imitate Peter Cetera. Really a tough job. What I like about Jeff Coffey is he just sings it. He doesn't try to imitate anybody. He just sings it 
and his voice is in the right key, his pitch is right on, and he sounds fantastic, okay? And he plays bass very well. So again, is it Peter Cetera or is it Jeff Coffey? Well, if you're looking for an answer, you've got to look to where we are today. We're not in 1985 anymore, Toto. Uh, no offense to Steve Lukather or Bobby Kimball. Um, <laughs> we are just today. And today, for my money, for a concert ticket person, I think Jeff Coffey wins the battle. And if you're going to go see Peter Cetera, fine. But keep in mind, he's a jerk. Okay, he's a real first-class jerk for what he did to Chicago both 31 years ago and at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He wants to sing cocktail parties and, you know, those private events and have David Foster show up here and there. That's great. Have the symphony orchestra. That's just, just, just wonderful. But for my money, if I want to hear a rock concert, a good rock concert, I'll go see Chicago with Jeff Coffey. All right, that's it. That's it for my video. Hope you enjoyed. Comments below. Talk to you later.